Hello everyone and welcome to a little bit of lunchtime learning here on the Imbrilliance channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the European and alternate characters that are available in the newly updated university font. Uh, this is part of Imbrilliance Essentials and it's one of the native fonts that is part of the program and has recently been updated to not only include European characters, but an alternate for the ampersand sign. So first of all, it's a little bit different be um, going between um, or looking at either Mac or Windows. So I want to address how do you access the European characters on Windows? This is done through the, um, first of all, how do you find out that you have <laughs> alternate or European characters? First of all, in the program, when you have your font selected, and I have university selected here, but you can check any of your fonts. If you, in Windows, there is a little question mark. If you click on that question mark, it brings up a pop-up window. You can see on to, in that direction. <laughs> in that pop-up window, you will see all the available characters that are in the font. So if there's small letters, punctuation, capitals, whatever is there, it's gonna be shown uh, as the keyboard character here. So how do you access those characters? In Windows, it is done through the character map. For those of you that are not familiar with the character map, it is a program that's on your Windows computer. And in Windows 10, if you go down to your start menu where it says type here to search, type in character map. That will bring up where it's circled under Windows and access Windows accessories. That shows you the little character map option. And it's a little program that's on your computer. And when you click on that, it actually brings you up almost like a key. And that's, and it shows you all sorts of characters that you can copy or select and copy and paste into your Word document, your email, and the Imbrilliance text dialog. So you have to go and scroll through there to find the character that you're looking for. For example, I wanted to type in the word piñata. So I select the I scroll through to find the N with the Anye on top of it. I click on the select button and then I click on copy. That copies it to the Windows clipboard. So when I go into my text dialog and I am uh, where it says what text you're typing there, where it says I will type in capital P, small i, hit paste so that the N with the Anya shows up and then finished out the rest of the word. And then when I hit the enter key, my display will show pinata. So it's all done through a copy and paste in um, this side. Okay, I'm seeing some comments on cutting in and out. This is a live video, it will be recorded and you can watch the replay or you can log back out and log back in, refresh the page and it will come through. So. No, I still have connection. So it just paused there for a minute. I thought I thought lost everybody, but it's not. I checked my connection. It is not on my side. So it'll be recorded. We can watch the replay. Ah, so that is how we do it on the window side. You have to access the character map, map and you do a copy and a paste. So how do we do it on the Mac side? In our Mac program, it's a little bit different. So I will have, it. what starts out differently is that when you click the lettering tool, as opposed to a question mark, the Mac has an information little I in a blue circle. When you click on the information, this shows you the available characters that are in the program, okay? So the same characters are available in both Mac and Windows. They are just accessed a little differently. So if I want, a Mac also has a character map and it is accessed under the edit menu 
where it says emoji and symbols. This is how you can access it. And it will bring up the character map where you will find your character here. However, Mac also has the capability that if I type in P I N and hold down the N on my keyboard, it pops up this little option here where I can click on the N and it puts the N with the Anye in it. And then I can just type in Pinata and it brings it in. So that is um, a shortcut, but that's only for Mac and it is based on the Mac operating system. So Windows, you must use the character map at this time. Mac, you can either use our emoji character map or you can hold down the um, N or whatever letter it happens to be um, that has the alternates. I just have to pick N because that was an easy one. Uh, depending on what character it is that you're looking for, the European characters, where it's, whether it's an accent, they'll all show up. For example, my uh, granddaughter's name is Chloe. And so she has capital C-H-L-O-E. And her E has the little accent on it. So I click on that, hit the enter key, and that automatically shows up. Windows, I'd have to use the character map, which I explained earlier, using it that way. Now, one other new addition to this university font is the ampersand has an alternate. What does that mean? That means it has a choice of two different versions of the ampersand. And this was just done with university font. So if I type in you and me and hit the enter key, I get you and me on the screen. But if I select the ampersand, right click on it and choose alternate here, you'll see that I can either use the normal one, which is what is selected, or if I go down and select one, this brings in the original ampersand that was in the old university before we updated it. We changed it so that this one actually has a prettier ampersand now, <laughs> or so we think. This is just a little more decorative. It matches university. But sometimes you may, you want, we included both so that if anyone wanted the original ampersand, you can always go back and get it. It is now as an alternate. Now you'll notice when you do select it, right click on it and choose the alternate. In your text box, you'll see that it is actually typed. And these are there's instructions on how to use the pipe, which is a key on your keyboard, and the um, instructions for accessing that ampersand by typing. There's two different ways of doing it. Personally, I find it's easier to select and right click and choose alternate so that it's just a little easier for me. But if you're willing to, or you are familiar with using the pipe to access alternates in other programs, that may be um, one way of doing it as well. So, sorry that this came in a little pixelated for some people. Hopefully it recorded fine. If not, uh, We'll, we'll figure out what we can do. We are we are constrained by um, the internet connection and Facebook at this time. All of our lunchtime learnings that usually happen on Thursdays are now being uploaded to our YouTube channel. So you'll be able to access this either by going to the dot, dot, dot while you're watching this video on Facebook and choose Save to My Videos or you can go to our In Brilliance YouTube channel and select the playlist that has lunchtime learning where these short videos are available for watching. Thank you and have a wonderful afternoon.